Okay, you can click the join members video over there for members video. And also you can email me for any game prediction at hypermarkets.com at yahoo.com for any game prediction or requests. And if you want to learn my system, click on my name. You can either go fund me to support my uh, course or, or channel. Do that and then donate, subscribe, share, and like my video. If you haven't done so, please email me at hypermarkets.com for any game prediction or requests. Always remember, nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself. So nothing is guaranteed. And look at last night's pop on nobody one Mega Man. Let's look at the Mega Man draw also. But before we get started, let's go back to the Mega Man draw. Mega Man, when I said B three is zero, you go to B three. The grid like this: A B C D E zero F G H I going down one two three four. So if I see B three is zero, you go to B three and you put the zero. So then you input, you get a 4D set. When you get 4D set, you're gonna hit. You're gonna start hitting the jackpot by picking the right numbers in the D set. You gotta pick the right numbers, you're gonna hit the jackpot. So you need to break down invisible number system. You need me to pick the numbers for email me for that as well. So A4 is one. Let's let's remind everybody what the coins are, the Mega Man for the draw. A4 is one, I4 is one, F2 is two, B4 is two. B1 is 8, H4 is 8, C1 is 8, E1 is 8, G2 is 6, G4 is 6, uh, C4 is 1, D3 is 1, uh, D2 is 3, E2 is 3, B2 is 9, C3 is 9, D1 is 5, F4 is 5, E4 is 5, H3 is 6, G3 is 2, C2 is 8, E3 is 4, F1 7, E3, uh, uh, D4 1, F3 9, and that's it. Copy those down if you haven't had gotten those coordinates, copy it down and put those coordinates inside the grid. I just showed you how to do it. And for Powerball, last draw was 14, 13, uh, 34, 36, 50, 58, and 50. Nobody hit the jackpot. Uh, and the digit 2 used. The digit zero used two times, digit one used one time for 14, digit three used two times for 34, 36, digit four used two times for 14 and 34, D digit five used one time for 50, uh, three times 50, 58, and 05, digit six used one time for 36, digit eight used one time for 58. If you add up all these coordinates, it should have 12. Or if you don't have 12, you did it wrong. So again, you cannot negate the five. Or the zero. You lose if you negate the five in the red ball, you're gonna lose 58, 50. If you negate the zero, you're gonna lose 50. So no red ball can be can be omitted to bring the coin any lower. So can't do that. You gotta use these coins. So uh power ball. Look at the power 14, 34, 36, 50, 58, and 05. If you look at the power ball drawing, if you look at the power ball drawing. If you look at the power ball drawing, we have to look at these coordinates right down there. That you, you want 8 to be in the middle because you can block out 83, 80, 84, 85, and 81. Right? You want to block out that. So you want to block out the, the corner as much as possible by putting the 8 in the middle. So we need the 14. The 14 is not there. I wouldn't switch, to, I wouldn't switch that 4. I would just switch the 5. 4 right here, I'll switch 0, and now I have 40 going down. Now I need 34, I don't have 34 or 36. So what I do is gotta switch again. Switch again, 34 and 36. But I don't have the 14 now. I don't have the 14, so we're gonna, we're gonna do something. So what, what do I have? I have 34, I have 36, I have 50, I have 05 and 58. The only problem is I don't have 14. If I switch the 5 out, I could do that. Because the 5 is used for, even though it's used for 3 numbers, it's used for one number two times. For 50 and 5, it's same number, same uh, digit. So so I can do that. So I can switch out the 5. So I have 50, 05, 58, I have 14, I have 34, I have 36, and I have 58. Do you see that? So this will give you the best option because 8, you block out 85, 84, 81, 83, and 80. You block out those five numbers in the matrix. Alrighty. Now,
Let's see if I can copy these down because something is wrong. I don't. I want to copy it down, but don't let me copy it down. Yeah, don't let me copy it down. I don't know why. Yeah, don't let me copy it down. So I have to do it diff. I have to do it differently. So let's do it differently. Now, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the same one. I'm gonna do it differently. Yeah, I, I cannot. I cannot copy it and paste it. So the problem is, I cannot copy and paste it. So we try to copy it and see if I can paste it. So for B three, for B three, you have I have zero also for B three. I have zero also. Uh yeah, I'm gonna have to change the tile so I don't confuse anybody. Let's can change. Let's can. Uh. Yeah, let's. I don't want to do that. Let's go back to. This one. Let's change, let's get something different. Uh yeah. No, let's get something different. No, let's get a different one so I don't confuse anybody. Go back to normal. Let's go back to normal. Let's let's just go back to normal. Okay, for Tuesday's draw, let's see if I can paste this. I, I, I can't paste. I cannot play, so I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do power ball. I don't want to waste time. Power ball for Wednesday's draw. So the A four, the A four. The A four for power ball is. Did you one, the same. And I for I for will be digit zero. So for power for Wednesday's power ball, 
A4 will be digit 1 and I4 will be digit 0. Now let's go to uh, F2. F2, the coordinate for Powerball on F2 will be digit 2. The same B4. B4 is the digit 1 now for Powerball. B B4 is the digit 1. So input those coordinates. And the these, these are system. Now I have. B1, it's 8, and H4, is 2. B1 is 8, H4 is 2. Now, C1, C1, I have 7, E1, E1, I have 2. So these are the coordinates so far. Copy those down. You got to input it in the, in the Power Deezer structure. Like I just show you, input those. Now I'm gonna to go to the next two. So copy it down. You can uh, for G two. I have zero and G four. I have seven. G four. I have seven. Do you see the corners? They're, they're, they're easy to digest. Now on to the next uh, two coordinate. You input those numbers. I just show you how to input it. C4. Let's go to C4 now. C4 is 5. D3 is 1. No. D... D3 is 4, my bad. For Powerball, it's 4, not 1. So, he input those corners down. Next two coordinates. D2. I have 8. And E2. I have 3. So input those coordinates down. Next two corner, next two corner. B2, let's look at B2. B2, I have nine. And C3, 
I have five. C3, I have five. Now for the Mega Man, these are for next two corner. Uh, a power these are for next two corner. Cop, copy it down. For D one, I have one. F four, I have six. F four, I have six. So you see how it changes. F four, I have six, and put those corners down. For E4, E4, I have five, and H3, I have zero. H3, I have zero. That's how you're gonna do it. Oh my God. Next two corner, next two corner, H3, I have zero. So I'm up to the next one, which is uh, yeah. This one, okay. G3, G. Three, I have two, and C two, I have five. I have five. So these are the next two coordinates. So I have E3, let's go to E3. E3, I have one. F1, I have, let me see, F1, I have zero. F1, I have zero. D4, D4, I have nine. F3, I have five. I have five. These are next two coordinates, please use them. And then I have a. Yes, you have to do this correctly. A4, maybe I did copy and paste the slide because I have so much slide, so I'm going to delete this slide. Going down, I, I'm going to delete some of these slides because I think I pasted them. D4 and F. Yeah, I got to delete them because I somehow I paste the slides down. Yeah, very good. So let's reround the slides. Mega Man. Powerball, Mega Man, Powerball, 
Mega Man Power Ball, Mega Man Power Ball, Mega Man Power Ball, Mega Man Power Ball. I'm trying to go slower so you can copy it down. Mega Man Power Ball. Uh, something wrong here. Let me see. C4 is 5. And D3 is 4. So, somehow the Mega Man, I don't have the Mega Man for C4, but doesn't matter. I'm going to try to fix it later. But those should be correct. I'm going to try to fix it later, but those are the corners that I gave you should be correct. So copy those corners down. I'm going to review the results on Wednesday, and you can email me. At hyperunders.com, please donate, share, and like my video. I'm going to try to fix it, the grid later, so you guys don't get confused on the next video. Try to fix it later by using different colors on the Mega Man and Papa, so you don't, guys don't get confused. But those corners should be correct. Those corners I gave you should be correct. And you can email me at hypermonerscoldingsyard.com. Don't forget subscribe, share, and like my video. And always remember nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself. So you can go to the page and do that, please.